be holidays. Okay. Let's look over here. Video workshop. I don't think you need that. Well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wreck it album. Look. <gasps> Ooh, look at these. These are uh Christmas. Clementine. Let me, let me Motown. Chuck Jackson. Let, let me How much look is at it? This record. Yeah, so you know those. Two Two. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the cassette players would be at, JB. This. No. Because, look, because I am a perfectionist, I ended up. <sighs> One of those batches of brownies did not cook all the way because I think it's because I had four pans of brownies in there, so they all had to fight to, to get done. So I ended up making another batch this morning, because again, because I'm a perfectionist, and I didn't have enough to, um, I, I can cook y'all, y'all know this. So I know what to do to, you know, uh, make things a success basically. So what I did, let me try not to touch this. I only had half of a thing of brownie mix left over, but I did have some chocolate cake mix. So I added half a cup to the leftover batter of the brownie. And now I have um, a bunch of cake like brownies. Instead of fudge brownies, we have cake. And you can see the difference in the consistency. See that one back there? That's the fudge with the nuts on it. This one here is the cake girl. I'm gonna try really hard. I already gave, um, I had a lot left over, so I gave half of the pan to Robin. Y'all, yeah, these moms are something else when they see me bring someone. Let me, let me sit down and talk to y'all. Today is Monday, I'm off today. Um, let me zoom you in, girl. Let me back up. Today is Monday, I'm off today. Um, it was a great weekend, y'all. We just had just a great holiday weekend. JB was getting my nerves yesterday, but it was just a fun weekend. Baby, that pizza, when I tell you that Nan pizza was the bomb.com, so good that I'm making me some more today. And today I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add all the rest of those peppers. I'm gonna add spinach, those tomatoes, jalapenos are mine. I'm gonna add broccoli, hell. That's, that pizza was so, my husband was even like, he's like, oh, this is good. He really, I could, he really liked the chicken one. I um, gave that all to him. Girl, he ate, <laughs> I only ate one, one whole one. He ate the other two. My husband can eat though, and he it goes nowhere because he's he's skinny and fat at the same time. We gonna talk about that. So we had a beautiful weekend. I love this time of the year, y'all. I just really do. It's just such a relaxing time. Even though, like I said, JB was getting on my nerves. <laughs> y'all be seeing JB and and look, I cut all of JB's hair off. I was trying to let it grow, but he won't let me do it, and it gets matted, and it's my texture, and I ain't got time. So I cut it off. And it's so funny, we'll get into these, these moms at school. Um, drinking lemon water, cause my fluffy ass ain't losing no weight, so let's pretend. Cut it off, and I don't think I like it. One of the moms who actually does hair and cuts hair, she's like, it looks okay. She said, but do you want me to fix it? I said, does it need to be fixed? She said, no, you did a good job. It doesn't look bad, but if you don't like it, I can help you now fix it. I said, girl, we, we gonna leave it alone. I think I want the top a little bit longer. So anyway, I make those brownies right. I made those brownies for two of my friends and I'm gonna drop them off today because I'm having lunch with Ms. Rainey, who I haven't seen since the summertime. And I try to see my friends, y'all, at least once to twice, at least twice a year. It's really hard out here because it's hard for people. Um, girl, I had to pause for the calls. My husband, 
he bought some look he be buying these big ticket items and i'm, I'm gonna have to tell him about this that you need to start talking to me not to get approval but let's discuss this stuff so he bought a damn massage chair he bought a massage chair now we have a fairly sized house good sized house but everything is in its place to how i like it right so he nonchalantly says two weeks ago you need to figure out a place to move this stuff i said do what he said, yeah, I bought a massage chair, so you're going to have to move this bench somewhere. I'm like, this bench adds a pop of color to our neutral family room. And now you're telling me I need to move my pop of color. So I moved it. You know, I obliged. I moved it, right? So then he's like, every other day, can you call these people to see when they're going to deliver? This is your project. Why are you having me to call? This is what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not telling him this. This is what I'm thinking in my head. Make sure you hear. <laughs> this is the shit I'm thinking in my head. This is your damn project. So last night while I was asleep, he sends me a text message. Can you call these people to see when they're doing Nah, he's cool. So y'all, um, this week, it, it should be slow. JB's, oh girl, it's JB's last week. For him to not get on my nerves so what I'm, i've done i did put him in camp because i'm not playing i'm not playing so i put him in camp a few days only three days i have three days off and then um we have a bunch of crafts to do y'all i am so excited <laughs> i'm such a nerd i love crafts i love doing crafts with jb i love getting it i love getting all this stuff together um, so we're going to be doing a little bitty crafts. That's going to be in a separate vlog in this video. And I'm really excited about doing all that stuff with him. I started purchasing stuff from the Dollar Tree. Because y'all saw our Dollar Tree is the bomb when it comes to crafts. So everything's going to be centered around oh, this. Anyway, good enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. And get ready to go meet my friend that's ready, y'all. This will be the first time we've had some girl talk with just us, you know. I've seen her, but she came over here and JB was in the way. A golden look. I'm trying to look, you know, um, blessed and highly favored. I'm trying to look like that, you know? I'm trying to look like an extra me member of, of uh, Kirk Franklin choir. I'm trying to look, you know, y'all know I'm so extra. So I'm not going to use that poor what is that thing um that you sent me i'm not gonna use that this this time because i felt a little casket sharp instead i'm gonna use elf face primer Ooh, yeah. anyway y'all what is wrong with these chilling these kids i look at I'm at that point in my life to where I'm seeing my, my nieces grow up, my friends' kids are grown, you know, they're growing up, and some of these kids are just way out of pocket and out of control. And you, as a parent, sometimes I wonder if, you know, thinking, what where do I go wrong? You know, you do all you can for your children. You try to put them on the right path. And sometimes they just, I'm just going to be front, up front. You, they just do stupid stuff. And you think, you know, try to think to yourself, what the hell is wrong with these kids, you know? So, and I'm just, I was on Facebook. I try not to get on there that much because I, I do a lot of judging. I will admit that I do a lot of judging behind the scenes and, and thinking to myself, girl, this is not a diary. Again, people are oversharing on social media. Girl, get you a, a, go to the Dollar Tree, get you a notebook, write your emotions there. You ain't got to do all that on, stop oversharing. Because this is the thing, most of the people don't really, I hate to say this, but most of the people reading that stuff, it's a false sense of caring. They don't really care about, about that, what you're going through. A lot of them will use it against you later on. So don't be putting that on social media. Maybe call, call one or two of your good friends, vent out to them, pour out your heart. Let them, you know, be your Facebook Live or whatever. But my niece was on Facebook Live, y'all. Mind you, my parents are extremely conservative and religious. I mean, they go to church several times a week. My mama's, I think my mama does church announcements. Yeah, they enter the church like that, right? My niece is on social media acting a plum fool. And this is the thing, she's grown. You know, she's 21. But in my eyes, you're still a child. And when you have your grandparents and family 
you need to be mindful of the stuff you say. So, child, why is she on Facebook Live freestyling? Saying all types of holes and freestyling. Talking about some type of mixtape, she. I need for you to get your little butt in school. Focus on your job. Focus on gaining a skill set. I can't, y'all. I cannot deal. I, I just... I told my husband then, and he just shook his head. He, cause he's, he's been doing it shy since she was like a year old. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I said, I can't believe what she's doing. I said, you, you freestyling. And you know, I guess he's freestyling nowadays. When you freestyle, it could be pre-written. Not where I'm from. Freestyle, you know, it's off the dome. It ain't no pre-written, nothing. No pre, are you serious? Pointed that. And I guess in her eyes, I'm, I'm disappointed in that, that, that route she wants to take. But I guess to her, in her eyes, this is one of many skills that she can do is, is to, to freestyle and be a rapper. And you know how many people want to do that? You know how long people like Nicki Minaj been behind the scenes rapping? We have no idea what those people went through to get to where they, you know, and what they're currently going through. But yeah, I just, and then my friend I'm going to meet today, she, I'm going to try to briefly ask her about her daughter. Last time I spoke to her, her daughter was going to school and she was in college, but she was behind a little bit, but it's okay. She's only 20 years old or 19 actually, but the girl wasn't listening. She didn't want to listen to my friend. She wanted to do things how she wanted to. And my friend had been preparing her for school literally since she was 12 years old. Preparing her for college, letting her know this is what you need to do. These are the classes you need to take. Let me tell you something. I am not, I will not be going through this, down this lane path with JB. They have it to where now these kids can literally graduate with a high school education and some college credit. That's the route we're going because I'm not taking out no student loans. You better get some grants. You better get some scholarships. Not only that, but we are, I'm not really worried about JB. I can already, I, I already see JV in the future. I already see it. I already see it, baby. But another thing that we are encouraging is I'm encouraging JV to do. My husband does it too. You know, you don't have to be go to college to be successful. Get a skill set. And I read something that one of my friends who's in education and she actually creates curriculum, early, early development curriculum. Um, she's a director at a school. One of the things that she shared a couple of months ago is to not necessarily ask your children what they want to be when they grow up ask them what problems do they want to solve so that's the seed i'm planting in jb i don't show you guys all of this but he he's taking apart most of his toys i don't stop him that's something he likes to do because he wants to see what's inside of them he wants to see how they work now some of them he will put put back together um but most of them he don't he wants to see what's inside of it. And I encourage, we, you know, we like, here, here you go. He will spend all day. He has little bitty screwdrivers. <laughs> so cute. He has a set of little bitty screwdrivers. He'll take a hammer. Now, sometimes I have to walk him, watch him. Like, you know, you need to be careful with that hammer, JB. And he will break that shit. Girl. He's like, I just want to see what's, what's inside of it. Um, lately, though, he had accidentally tore one of his toys that he really liked. And he was able to fix it. And it was electrical. I was like, look at you. You know, I encourage him, and you know, that way. Um, he's really good at math, not so good in English. Really excels at math. Um, classes. Cause when you're in school, when you're in college, there's no, there's no granny or your mama to wake you up and say, hey, you need to get up to go to your college, get it, go to your class. But. Again, this is why I'm going to be encouraging JB do this stuff while you're in college and high school. Excuse me, excuse me, so I can watch you, so so I can help you while you're here. Um, if he does decide to go to college, junior college, don't be like your little friends. Half of them are going are going to drop out anyway. That is a fact. Half of them will drop out. They will meaning they will. I would say half of them will not graduate. That was the stat when I was in school. I don't know if it's even worse or better now. Um, and sure enough. Out of the three, my first classmates, I was the only one to graduate college. 
I had three classmates the first year. And it's hard, y'all. I mean, I I busted my butt in school. Let me check the time. I'm ramble. Oh yeah, girl, be quiet. But I worked my butt off in school. I had hard work ethics. I went to college when I was only 17. I worked two jobs all the time. Minimum two jobs on campus. Once I got a car, I started to get a job off campus. Now, I wouldn't recommend that because my grades suffered. But I did it because I had to. I didn't do it because I wanted to, baby. I didn't, I didn't do it because I wanted extra spending money. I needed money. I needed money to pay my, my rent. I needed money to hell pay my bills so my parents you know we couldn't i couldn't get scholarships i wasn't extremely smart you know what i mean i was all right y'all it's my makeup just did it real quick like now these twists are from um see i don't know how to describe it i took down the mini twists yesterday and i just put these in just because um so that's why they look super super defined and I really, I'm not going to separate. I'm just taking down, unraveling. Y'all, look at the length I'm getting. I'm so excited, y'all. Almost, I haven't measured my hair. I think I'm almost back to my length before the disaster happened. Girl. I know. His hair, his hair. It will grow back. Um... I don't got nothing else to talk about, y'all. I'll show y'all what my look, what everything looks like when I'm done. All right, y'all. So this is what my husband has bought. Um, <laughs> currently JB is in it. <laughs> yeah, I got in it. It was like a torture. It was like a torture chamber. I mean, it was squeezing stuff. Maybe I'm not using it right, but I had to scream for JB to let, to press the power off to let me out because it was squeezing me too tight. I don't know if this is for, um, if you're overweight, you can't get in this. Okay, you know. What is it doing, baby? It's like, it's all like, like it's like two, it's like two like metal pieces on my back. Yeah, it's I don't, like I didn't really like it. I felt, I felt like cause I was, some um, final destination stuff going on, so I had to get out. You like it, baby? Maybe we'll show daddy, have daddy to show us how to really use it properly. 